All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants, doing a film breakdown for the Giants' newly added safety. Jason Pinnock claimed him from the Jets. A surprising cut for the Jets, and if you're a Jets fan and you're just sad and watching this, you, you lost your guy. I'm surprised they did this because I watched Ashton Davis, who they kept on this, and he was he was horrible. But Pinnock was a fifth-round pick uh, in 2021. He's a converted cornerback, so... He is new to the safety position, got uh, got some starting reps the last few games of the year. And I thought, you know, he he didn't look horrible. There's some bad plays on there, but for the most part, he does his job. Nothing that nothing super flashy. You'll see some box reps that are pretty good, but he mostly plays that deep safety. But he's an athletic guy, um, and I think this is, a, out of the four Giants waiver claims, this is probably the guy who has the best chance of being an impact in a good way. Obviously, they've got a couple corners. Um, and this will be the only film breakdown I do unless that O-lineman isn't as bad as his stats are. Um, so let's get into it. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And let's get into it. We're going to go through some reps. And want to start with him as uh, in the box. Just because there's that's where his best like highlight plays are in the few games he played. Even though that's not where he played the most. And this isn't technically box, but it's in the goal lines. Number 41 right here. Just simple. Read option. He's got the QB. Good recognition. Good job wrapping up. Comes down aggressive. Isn't sitting forever. Bam. Wraps him up. On a different drive in this game. Same exact thing. We got him lined up back here. Crashing down. The end has the running back. He's going to fit up uh, versus Trevor Lawrence in the read option. Comes down aggressively. Sits. Makes the tackle. And forces a fumble on this too. So he gets his right hand in on the ball. Pops it out. Now the Jags end up recovering it and scoring a touchdown. But still, good stuff. He asked, There's another play that we'll go through later. He had, I mean, he started three games and he had two forced fumbles. And you'll see on another play where he goes for it. So that's something that's noticeable about him too. Is he likes to poke the ball out. Lined up right here on this one. Simple this one. Nothing special but. This tight end looks like he's running around. It's run. Get your hands inside. Shed. Disengage. Come help out with the tackle. Next play lined up right here. Just you see the speed. Like he's an athlete. And I think that's why Jets fans were mad about losing him. Because he is a good athlete and he's new to the safety position. And then it looked totally lost out of place back there. Just good speed and burst. But now let's go to the stuff that he did the most. Which is playing deep safety. He played deep safety 60% of the time. Uh, last year for the Jets, 20% in the nickel, which we'll go through some nickel man reps, and then 20% in the box. Got them lined up right here. This is a, a cover four right here. So you got you know, corner, safety, safety, corner, and then the three underneath defenders. Just good job. Shows bracket that if Diggs... Takes this just into the corner. He's there with him. Diggs tries to give him some good route sell. Flip those hips. Don't turn your body the other way. You shut down the, the window of a throw. You see that's where Allen is initially looking. He's, a, he's looking to get this. He's trying to get this safety to bail right here and then get a whole shot in here. But Pinnock does a good job. And again, some these deep safety reps, and Josh Allen does Josh Allen things. Um, these deep safety reps, one, he only played a few games, so there's nothing flashy. It's just more doing his job, and that's what playing a deep safety is a lot of the times. It's just making the QB avoid your area, especially when there's a lot of uh, cover three or single high stuff that Robert Sala likes to run, even though we're looking at some too high stuff. Um, next one lined up right here. This safety is going to back out. Again, another quarters cover four look. Just staying honest. 
not biting on this dig. They're running a wave concept. We talked about that with the cover one guys. Uh, the bills are running a wave concept. Stay honest. Stay honest. Don't bite at this. And then these two defenders should be able to have this. Ashton Davis passes this one off. Great throw by Allen. But again, just being honest. Taking away this. Because if he slams down on this and doesn't trust these defenders, well... Josh Allen's got a whole lot of field to work with to get that ball to Stephon Diggs. Now here's some negative, bad recognition stuff from him. Got him lined up right here. Or sorry, this is good recognition, my bad. You got Davis running the post corner. sure they saw something on film you got the under and you see him you see him communicate shuts down the throw over the top forces Allen to run and you see this is the the play I was talking about tries to make a, a swipe at the ball one I don't know if you want to take Josh Allen head up and two you're not allowed to just murder QBs so I like the Hey, get a, get a nice punch at that ball. Good job by Allen holding on to it, but a good punch on there. Okay, so some this is another cover four look. This is a bad job right here. Run the corner post. Gets his hips totally flipped. Probably gets into that back pedal, you know, you know, bailing too early on this. And this leaves Tavon Austin with a lot of green. Now, also, maybe you don't want this guy necessarily biting, but I don't know how they, they coach this up, what their keys are on it. So he could possibly have gotten screwed by the other safety. But gets his hips turned. We'll see it from the other angle. Ends up being an incompletion. But this could have very easily been six. So again, the job of a deep safety is to close, is to stop those progressions, stop those those throws from even being made. All right, here we go. Lined up as a deep safety. Trevor Lawrence rolls out, break on it. Yeah, they're running cover three. Seams can beat that cover three, but he's got good speed. You see even Lawrence pump fakes on the throw. Just good job get being fast getting over the top on it. This is the soft spot of the zone in the cover three. Good job stopping Trevor Lawrence from making this throw. These guys do a good job covering underneath and it forces Trevor Lawrence to scramble. Here. Lined up again in the deep safety. They're running cover three. They're running uh, a post corner. What it, Usually, a lot of times against cover three, you're going to run uh, this as the crosser, and this is a deep post. I think I'm trying to... Th this, the Darius Slayton touchdown versus Steelers week one, 2020, was this. Was something this. But this is built off of it where... You sell the post to try and get this safety to bail and then hit the corner. And you see the corner does get beat all over the uh beat off the line beat off the beat off the release pretty quickly. This is not gonna be your responsibility ever on this. You gotta flip your hips and get out. You gotta flip your hips and get out of the corner. Just kind of gets lost in it. Lost on, lost, you know, looking back at the quarterback. Not able to get there in time. Corner gets called for pass interference. 
and they're down at the three yard line or whatever it is. So just being better recognizing that type of stuff. And again, new to the safety position. Like he's played three games of, you know, starting reps at safety in his NFL career. Next play lined up right here. You see him pop off the screen. Again, this is this is that Yankee concept where we got the post and then the crosser. So, you know, I was talking about how that other play is built off of off of this uh the Yankee play. This is that play. So on this one, gets his hips totally open, leaves him vulnerable, and then you have all this space. And if it's staying, you know, I'm not an expert in safety stuff, but stay in your back paddle or what. But you just leave a lot of space. Receiver ends up dropping the ball. And he celebrates like he broke it up. I mean, he kind of did break it up. We'll see. But you do see the good speed and athleticism on, on display there as well, too. I mean, he lays a big hit on him. So, you know, I'm going to give him credit for that. Going to go through some man coverage reps. Got him lined up down here in the nickel. This is third down. Sorry for the skip. But you just see he gets phys gets phys he likes to get physical when he's in man coverage. We'll see it from the other angle that's not skipping. But lined up here on Dawson Knox. Gets hands on him. Keeps it within the five yards. Ruins the progression for Josh Allen. And then on like a, a lot of these other plays, Josh Allen just does it on his own. Josh Allen doing Josh Allen things. Here we got him lined up on Cole Beasley. Third and ten. Playing inside leverage. Jets are showing a, a cover one look that they, like they're going to blitz. So, you know, you play inside leverage to, you know, make the defense think like, hey... They're coming. They're coming hot, and they're gonna they're gonna cut off anything, cut off any route inside. So he's playing inside leverage. I like the one hand stab, but you got to get the, that footwork better. Like that's not that's not great footwork. Get into a back pedal or something. Again, I'm not an expert at cornerback stuff, so don't go crazy on me if you are, or just tell me what what if I'm wrong. Gets beat, but good trail. Again, it's third and ten. Makes a stop and forces the fumble. Watch the hand wrap around. Right hand the wrap. Left hand to stab that ball out. So you get, hey, you get them punting, and uh, you almost get a turnover, but they call, they call the ball out of bounds. So... You know, he started three games, two forced fumbles in in there. Lined up right here on this one. This one, he's just kind of put in a bad situation, but he does get beat. Again, inside leverage. Wide receiver uses that leverage of, of him being uh, open inside. Breaks out. Wide open, but... The Jets are also setting pressure on that, so I'm sure they wanted to cut off the inbreakers. Here's some good uh, man coverage the, uh, in the red zone. So he's covering the, the tight end in motion. Comes across with him. Avoids the traffic. This is where he's. This is where Trevor Lawrence wants to go. Like he's got the man coverage look um, by the pre-snap by him chasing. Good job breaking down. Work inside. Shut down a progression for Trevor Lawrence. Incompletion on fourth and goal. So good stuff there. And then the last uh, one we'll look at man coverage again in the red zone. Got him lined up. Right here. 
or sorry, not man coverage. He's playing that that under just red zone. Shuts this down. That if they were running a rub route and trying to get the, this tight end to sit, just shuts that down. You got this crosser. Okay, I shut down that progression. Or if, if, that, if he was to sit on that, get underneath on this. Get underneath on this. And Trevor Lawrence throws an insane lead. I mean, come on, Lawrence. Just throws in the back of the end zone and ends up being intercepted, I believe. I believe it count. They called it incomplete, but still. So, anyways, that's Jason Pinnock. Just wanted to give you a look on uh, a little look on him. Athletic, new to the position, um, but I'm surprised the Jets uh, waved this guy when they had Ashton Davis still on their roster. So, I think out of the be- out of the four guys they claim, this is the guy who has the best chance to make an impact in his career, and he's only in his second year. So, appreciate you guys like and subscribe to the channel. You're going to see a lot more film once the season starts get uh, gets rolling. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one. Until then, let's go Big Blue.